Hello guys, Kadochi here and welcome to another video. So today I'll be looking at Portrait of Pirates DX Vista from the Whitebeard Pirates. So this is the box. It's a pretty big box, it doesn't fit all the way on my camera. So this is Vista from the Whitebeard Pirates. And he is the 5th Division Commander of the Whitebeard's Whitebeard Pirates, so that's a very high rank. And this is a Wave 2 model, so Instead of a toy sticker, it has a Funimation and a AAA anime distribution sticker, so it's authentic. So yeah, Fista, that's the box. Now let's take a look at Fista himself. So he is the best swordsman of the Whitebeard Pirates, and also a very renowned swordsman. And just like Mihawk said, Mihawk said only a fool will not know Fista's name. And even in the, in the Marine Fort War, he fought against Fista. And he was doing pretty well and was never on the defensive, always attacking. And the only attack, special attack we've seen of him is Rose Rondo. Just the half part of it because uh, Mihawk countered it with one of his own slashes. So he said Rose Rondo, then all these red petals appear and Mihawk slashed them away. And after that they didn't fight anymore for some reason. So this is Fista. And I really like him, he's a big muscular man. And I'm gonna show you the base. And you would think it will come with a bluish base, but it actually comes with a red base to represent his Rose Rondo attacks with those red petals. We can read that White Beard Pirate, with the White Beard logo, Vista. It's a really uh, nice base. I'm gonna put him on the base again very carefully. And he has a top high hat and a sort of mustache just like Roger has. This one's a bit different but still looks a bit the same. And he even has earrings and really cool hair. And his head can wobble around like this so you can pose him very well. And he comes with this bluish white coat and of course the chest is exposed and the sort of bluish white coat here. And you can actually pop both of these hands out if you want to and let's take a look at the the pants as well sort of a light bluish color so very well done this is the back of Fista and here's a hole for the cape which I'll show you later on and I think the belt buckle is very well done as well looks very real so yeah and you got these two other uh, hands and those are for the swords of Vista so I'm gonna pop these two out and pop these two back in that's one and that's two like that and the swords come with a scabbard as well. So, two scabbards. And these are the sabers. So, he always uses two swords. And uh, you know, he uses two swords when you uh, watch the Marine Fort War against Mihawk. So, pretty nicely done. And this is to present a flower for his uh, Rose Rondo attacks. Yeah, pretty well done. And the only thing is with the scabbards uh, at uh, Rondo Azoro or other uh, swordsmen, you can just put them in the scabbard, but with this uh, model it works differently. It doesn't have a hole all the way down, just to here. So what you actually do is you can mount the, these two right, on the belt. So here there's one. Gonna put the other one here in as well. Okay, I had a bit of trouble putting them in, but they're in now. And to actually sheath the swords, you have to pop off the blade like this. And what you do then is actually put it in like this. So you just have to pop the blade out. Same goes for the other one. Pop it out. Yeah, equip it. So now he, it looks like he has the two swords sheathed, so really cool pose. 
And I think they really, really good job on this pose because it's a very muscular man and these swords stand out as well, just uh, with the overall pose. It's really cool. And of course you can hold the sword, so let's come, we're going to do that as well. And but let's first just uh, like take a look at the cape before we do the sword. This is its enormous cape, and it looks like it's made out of tin, but it's actually plastic. You can hear that. So it has this peg, which. Goes so to get the cape on, you just have to pop off the head, which is on a ball joint. Then at the back, you have this square hole, which uh, goes in here. You just press, and it fits. Put the head on top, and you have the cape. Really cool. Looks uh, really amazing. He's a big guy, and the cape actually makes him look even more bigger. It's really cool. And now I'm gonna equip the sword, so that's one and two hands. And for that you actually can pop this piece off, then remove the top piece. Then you just slide it in here, just have to use a little force. Then you just put the thing back on top. like this and put the blade on and just put it back into the arms or the arm I'm gonna put my camera a bit more down so you can see it more clearly and the thing goes for the other one as well pop this one off be very carefully not to break any thing <laughs> okay then again you put in this hand again, put the thing on top and then press and put the blade in again and just equip it on the arm just as the other one and there you have Pista sword pose which I think looks really cool very well done and again I think the detail on this figure is amazing and what surprised me also was the red base for his uh, Rose Rondo attacks it's because I was expecting a more of a bluish base but really cool that it has a red base and all in all I'm happy with this figure it's a good figure good, good quality the only thing I find a bit weird is these scabbards that you just can't put the blade in but oh well it works like this also so this was my review of Vista from the White Bit Pirates I hope you liked it and I will see you guys next time in another One Piece review take care